Hey friends, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video of items that I sourced over the last couple days to sell over in my Poshmark closet, which if you're not familiar, I am a full-time fashion and clothing seller on the Poshmark app. My username is Empty Hanger, and I always have my closet linked down in the description box below if you ever want to check it out. But I went to about five different stores over the past two days. I went to a couple thrift stores, Goodwill, um, a couple resale shops or like local consignment type of places and I found about 25 items so sometimes I can go to one place and find a ton of stuff sometimes I find nothing so this is a time where I found a few things at each store but I didn't like hit it out of the park at any specific one so it's a good mixture I am gonna go ahead and show you what I have on this rack behind me and let's get into the haul the first item I have is this knit poncho shawl type of thing. It is just a pullover, which is open on the sides, but then it has this really cool zip detail on it, and it is by Lululemon. So this is a Lululemon wool one size, just kind of like a sweater accessory poncho thing so I thought it was pretty unique I haven't seen anything like this before and I saw one sold on Poshmark recently for over a hundred dollars it also has a little metal logo down here on the bottom I just thought this was a really nice piece and it could be a good transition into spring and then speaking of spring, spring break and summer, we have it coming around the corner. So I'm already looking at swimwear and this is just a um, rash guard top. So it's something that people wear if they want to like cover up from the sun or, you know, they're going surfing or whatever. The back of it has this really cool open detailing and I just like the geometric design on it. And the brand is Rip Curl and it's actually new with tags. It's a size small. I've sold something like this before, but it's just a rip curl rash guard top. And then the next item I grabbed is a graphic tank top. It's just a super long high-low tank. It's got this step hem and it says American Dream. And the brand on this one is Future State. It's Future State, size medium. It's still new with tags and this was from Urban Outfitters. So Urban Outfitters, I do like a lot of their graphic tees. I'm pretty pick picky with what I pick from them, but I did like that top. And then I have another graphic tee. This one's short sleeve. It's pretty fitted and it's actually by Lamb, which is Gwen Stefani's clothing line or her old clothing line. And my grandma found a piece of this in her most recent haul. I hadn't seen it in forever and I found a piece. So she kind of sent the vibes to me, but it's a size medium. I would say it fits more like a small and all over it. It just has the story of Lamb in Gwen Stefani's handwriting. So I think that's a pretty cool collector's piece. And you're about to see, I have a ton of graphic t-shirts so I get men's women's you know it doesn't matter to me I just look for really cool unique styles and this first one is by denim and supply Ralph Lauren and it's a men's size large and it's got this really cool tiki statue on the front it's kind of distressed I just thought that was a really fun look and then the next one is a band tee and I love this one because it's super colorful it is um, Led Zeppelin or Electric Magic featuring Led Zeppelin. I don't know. It's just got this really cool concert theme to it and it does have a few small stains on it down here. I tried to get them out. They wouldn't come out but I think it was still worth it to pick up because it's super soft. Someone will really like this top and it is a tool text. It's an extra large. Okay, the next top is this really cool kiss band tee, and I love that image of the members. I just think that's so fun. And then it's acid washed red, and it is a size small. I think this is a women's size small because the measurements, it just seems like a women's to me. And then this next shirt is an Alabama shirt, and I actually got this because I wanna do a little DIY project. So I really liked how on this shirt it had these patch letters. Um, it has this Bama patch and it's really soft and oversized, but what I'm gonna do is actually crop it. So I'm gonna cut it and then I think I'm also gonna like splatter it with bleach. I used to do a bunch of this kind of stuff um, when I first started Poshmark and I haven't done it in a while and I just wanna experiment. So I got this shirt to experiment with, so keep an eye out for this cool crazy DIY shirt in my closet. The next shirt is kind of a cool retro souvenir style shirt in my opinion. It's short sleeves, it's v-neck. I love the New York City block text 
and it is just a random brand. It's nothing special, and it's a women's size small. It's really cool. I like this um, space dye type of background. And then this next graphic tee is a men's. It just says Golden Hour Surfer, and it's got like a dip dye sunset type of background. It's black, and the brand on this one is Scotch and Soda, which is a pretty popular men's line. It's a size medium, and it's actually new with tags. I think this retailed for about $50. And honestly, I didn't know it was that brand or new with tags when I picked it up. I just grabbed it because I honestly really like that graphic. And then this next shirt is super cool. It is a vintage cancer um, horoscope tee. So it's got the horoscope sign and then this ombre background to it. And if you look up close, it says the year on the shirt. I believe it's 1988. So it's 1988 Airwaves Inc. It doesn't have any kind of tag in it. The other thing about it, it does have, you can probably see it on camera, some kind of pit stains. It's kind of faded in different areas. And there's a little bit of bleach spots down there. But honestly, like I just loved this shirt. And I thought someone would like it. You could definitely still distress it even more. And yeah, it's just a unique piece. I think it fits like a size large. It's it's so soft and vintage. And then the next shirt is a Lucky brand and it says, don't feed the hipsters. I think that's hilarious. It's the bear spraying himself with, I don't know, is that beer maybe? And then it's Lucky brand. It's a men's size extra large. This thing is super soft and really cool. And then the next shirt is also a Lucky Brand graphic tee. It's got the California bear on it. And then inside it says a bunch of the different California cities. It's the size extra large. And then on the back of this one too, it does say Lucky California at the bottom. This shirt you might recognize if you saw my What's Sold video last week, but I actually found the exact same shirt again. So last week I sold it in a small and this time I found it in a size large. The brand is divided from H&M. Again, it's a men's large. A celebrity wore this one, so I was able to sell it for $30 last time, so hopefully I can get $30 on this one again. And then this top is an oversized, almost football jersey style top, and I really like the colors on it. It's white, black, blue, red, obviously, and then it is We The Free by Free People. It's a size medium. This thing is super soft, super oversized, and I just really like that style. Okay, I have another Free People top next, and this thing is kind of like a sweatshirt poncho, so it's really unique. When it was on the hanger, I had no idea what was going on, but it's got this wide neck, the sleeve, and then the bottom of it is asymmetrical, and then the bottom also has this split on one side, so it's kind of a loose, oversized poncho, and then there's the tag, and it is a size small. It could probably fit up to a large just because it is so oversized. And what I really like is the back on this one has some tie-dye fabric on it. It's just really flowy and boho. And then another free people top. This one's a thermal, and it's fitted. It's long sleeves, and it has this Scorpio on the front. It says reckless, and it's all distressed. It's also new with tags. Um, size medium. It's We The Free Free People, which We The Free is like their more casual line. This top is J. Crew, which I'm super picky with the J. Crew. I pick up, I haven't picked up a button down shirt in a while. The reason I picked this one up is because it has these really cool embellished bugs all over it. Um, I don't know if they're like dragonflies or butterflies or beetles or whatever, but it has a ton of them. And it happens to be a new attack. So it's J. Crew perfect shirt. It's a 12 tall. And like I said, it is new with tags. I did look this style up because I like to look up J. Crew if I'm going to pick it up. And it looks like these sell for quite a bit on Poshmark. So hopefully that does well. And then I have a button down chambray shirt and I love the embroidery on this. It definitely seems kind of retro to me. It's got some on the sleeves, on the front. The brand is Madewell. It's a size medium and the back embroidery is my favorite. I just think that looks super bohemian and 70s to me. And then I have another New York item, which is funny because I had that in New York tee before. This I actually got at a different place, and it's just an oversized cropped sweatshirt. It says New York Soho. It's been cropped. It's raw on the bottom, raw edge, and there's no brand, no size. I measured it, and I think it fits like a medium, but these cropped sweatshirts, I see them everywhere now, so I think that'll do really well. 
The next item is a kimono, and when I saw this, I thought it was Free People because it looks very similar to this Free People. I think it's called Magic Something, Magic Mystery Kimono, but it's actually from Urban Outfitters, which is a sister company to Free People. And the brand on this one, if it'll focus, is Ecote. It's one size because it's just open. It just goes over your arms and it's paisley. And it has this really cool contrast stripe on the edges. And you can just see the back is plain. This thing looks like it's in brand new condition. I love these for festival season. And that's coming up with all the big music festivals. People like to throw these on over their outfits. And then the final few items I have are jeans. This first pair of jeans. I really like the exposed button fly on the front. They're super distressed. They're a little bit of a boyfriend style, kind of loose, and they have the rips in the knees, and then they also have the released hem. So the hem's been let out, and it's just frayed on the edges, but I think that's a really cool style with that button fly. These are by Current Elliot, and they're a size 25. This next pair of jeans, I've actually sold some pretty similar to this before, and I love the splatter paint detail, just very artsy and creative, and they're super skinny and long, and they look like they're in perfect condition. They honestly look like they've never been worn. This pair is also Current Elliot, and they are also a size 25. This is the final pair of jeans that I picked up, and as you can see, they are super, super distressed. They have these really cool zippers on the bottom, just blown out holes all over. So the brand on this pair is One Teaspoon. They are a size 28, and the style for One Teaspoon, if you're ever looking for it, they actually put it on the back tag. So right here, Freebirds, that is the actual style name of this jean, and if you look even closer, like they describe what it is, which is really nice, so you don't have to go searching for it. They put all that info on the tag, but I really like one teaspoon jeans. They don't sell for as much as they used to, but they do sell pretty quickly still in my opinion. The last item I have is a pair of shoes, and I love selling shoes, but I've talked about it before. I have the hardest time finding shoes in my area. I don't know if it is just a lot of competition in that category or if it's just the type of shoes I'm looking for, but anyways, whenever I see shoes I like, I pick them up, obviously. So I picked up this pair of gold gold metallic pointed toe shoes. They're a flat, but they have a hidden wedge. So if you look at them from the side, they kind of look like a flat. However, this part right here is actually a wedge on the inside. So they give you a little bit of height and they're super cushioned on the inside as well. And the brand is Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump shoes do really well. They make great career styles, but I could see these with skinny jeans as well. And they look like they've never been worn on the inside. The bottom has like very minimal wear. So maybe they've been tried on or worn once and these are a size 8. That's it for this thrift haul. If you enjoyed seeing my finds, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite item was from this haul. I think mine is a toss up. I always do a tie and it's between the Motorhead tee or the Current Elliott splatter paint jeans. I just think those were super cool and unique. But yeah, let me know your favorite piece. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna find out more about Poshmark, reselling, thrifting, etc. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.